to Folk from the Boat episode 9 and I'm sitting on the back of my boat on the River Lee at the moment and you can probably just see you can probably just see a power station there it's a bit bit industrial in my section Hello. and uh, and a neighbor going past I have two very exciting things to tell you about today the first is that this morning I made marmalade um, it's grapefruit, isn't it an amazing colour? Let's see if I can get that into the light. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I hope it's I hope it's good. I'll let you know tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry you can't met metaphorically eat eat marmalade with me. Um, the second thing I'm excited about is pirates. I'm still excited about pirates because I live on a boat, and I've got a pirate ballad for you today that was requested by the wonderful John Kearney. So I hope you enjoy this, John. It is called Henry Martin. It's, um, it's quite a popular ballad, you may have heard it before, and it's, it's just, it's got a great tune and it's really good fun. Henry Martin isn't a name from history really, but he's probably the kind of corrupted, sort of passed down through um, from mouth to mouth, a version of Andrew Barton who was a Tudor pirate. He was born in 1466 or thereabouts and he um, was rather like Captain Ward, firstly a legal pirate, um, plundering mostly from the Portuguese who, were, who England was at war with, but when it was no longer legal to do so, he kept on going. Andrew Barton was finally brought down in 1511 by ships sent from Henry VIII and that was much chronicled but perhaps Henry Martin this ballad is so loved because this is one where the pirate is not brought down but where he is still having a good time with his plundering and plundering the rich which is a story that through tradition we've always kind of enjoyed smiling at. I hope you enjoy it.
news, bad news to old England came, bad news to Fallenden town. There's been a rich vessel and she's cast away, cast away, cast away, oh, and all of her men.